we are We are down to the nitty gritty, oh yeah! Only two remain. Somebody's O must go! Nineteen years old, five foot nine from Delray Beach. Sees the future of tennis, but things started off a little shaky in New York. Why is she taking so long? The fans started to boo. And after the sixth time, Coco had enough. You're not doing your job. This is the sixth time she's gone over her service clock. And now she's holding me up. She's breaking the rules. You need to say something about it. Enough is enough. This is ridiculous. These are two shot rallies. It's not like we're doing 20 shot rallies. Please, please have mercy. She's too fast. Please, the other chair umpires have mercy. It's a long rally. I'm tired. We call a stop to this bout in the third set. Coco delivered the knockout blow and she was out of there. Coco passed that test and in the post-match interview, my coach just said I should have spoke up sooner. After the fifth time, that was a little too ridiculous. Coco took out Mira and Dreva and Elise Mertens, but no one picked her to take out Caroline. But it was a rough day at work for the mom, and Coco disposed of the Grand Slam champ. Meanwhile, another Grand Slam champion was waiting. Big Mama Asta. She had a midnight match with Iga, the world's number one. But Yelena Asta Pinkle turned on the burners and sent her packing to Poland. Ouch. I still don't know who that woman is and why she had all of Yelena's matches. The world may never know. Coco would meet Yelena and dispose of her quickly. The first set in 20 minutes. That's a lot. Whoa. Two-time U.S. Open champ Naomi Osaka would show her support for Coco in a rematch of Cincinnati. Mukova started slow and then needed a bathroom break. But with all the drama on Ash, we all got a break. Play was suspended for 50 minutes. I don't know, something about fossil fuels or something like that. With those ticket prices, might have been cheaper to just do a YouTube video. Carolina tried to stay loose and Coco was already relaxed. She watched a little bit of the football game. 
Mukova went to the forehand and it paid dividends. She found herself back in the match. Coco got frustrated. Dad wasn't worried. But mom, mom was a little nervous. Coco returned the favor to Jimmy with the championship tickets. She went to the running forehand and got the job done. Mokova loses to Coco yet again. Ouch. Was it the air Coco's? She's on a roll. I got nothing but love for you, baby. Leon showed up to support Coco and you could feel the love in the air. But meanwhile, on the other side of the draw, Belarus was dominating. Things got a little chippy as Zinevska hit Sabalenka with a curve at the net. Whoa! From Belgium by way of the Ukraine. Sabalenka laughed it off and stormed into the next round. And the next, and the next, until the showdown with China. She was locked and loaded, trying to prevent the invasion. Queenwin came out flat and Sabalenka passed that test easily. But Maddie Patty came out with the rockets. The tiger and Sabalenka showed up and she smashed the racket. Whoa! Yes, we saw that. You're fired. She threatened her camp on national TV, and I can't repeat what she said. It was bad. Ouch. They gave her a new racket, and she would start the amazing comeback. Facing match point. Whoa. Sabalenka took a deep breath as Maddie Patty got injured. Unbelievable. Sabalenka would celebrate too early. What had, what had happened? This is a Grand Slam tiebreak. First to 10, win by two. But the victory was inevitable, setting up a clash of Belarus and the USC. Coco averages four aces per match and wins 75% of her service games. She wins 41% of her return games and gets 68% of her first service in play. She breaks opponents from the pressure at 46%. She's saving a whopping, astonishing, amazing 59% of her own break points. Coco's fast, athletic. Her footwork's amazing. She's one of the best defenders on tour and she's got one of the best backhands you've ever seen. She's got an underrated powerful serve and she can go to top spin anytime she wants to reset. Arena is averaging five aces per match and wins 82% of her service games. She wins 36% of her return games, gets 73% of her first service in play. She breaks the bonus when the pressure at 42%. She's saving a whopping, astonishing, amazing 62% of her own break points. 
Sabalenka's powerful, aggressive. Her one-two punch can blast anyone off of the court. And if you're lucky to return her serve, watch out for the forehand. Whoa! Why did Sabalenka complain to the chair umpire twice? Because she didn't want the double fault. And we're rolling with Coco. She's already beat her three times. So we'll take the four and a half games on the alternate. If you took my advice, you already won. I said take Coco and Sabalenka on the future hedge. All you need is one of them to win it all. Congratulations, you've already won. Thank you guys for our best week ever, and we'll see you at Cancun.